Good morning, Revivalists. Such an honor to be with you in the privacy of your own dwellings on this Sunday morning, celebrating Sabbath with you. Last week, we had a look at who Job was not. This week, we will look at who Job was. To find out who Job was, we need to go and have a look at his Facebook page or his CV. But before we get to his CV or his Facebook page, I want to share with you that I am concerned. I am concerned because the Human Sciences Research Council did a survey in our country. They found that out of every two people, one think that he or she is safe from this coronavirus. Uh, those 50% of people in our country, I want to ask them four questions. The first is, did you listen to the scientists? They speak about herd immunization. That means they are banking on 70 to 80% of South Africans recovering from the virus. If we are 58 million, then you're talking about 46 million people and they are banking on. Secondly, did you notice that our soccer World Cup stadiums are turned into hospital wards? Thirdly, did you take note of the 217 Cuban doctors that we have in our country as we speak? Lastly, did you notice that our government is making an inventory list of all the mortuaries in South Africa? And I have even heard about the investigation of incinerators in case there is a shortage of cemeteries in the country. If you can answer those four questions, then all of us should be on the same page that yes, all of us are in arm's way. I want to go straight into the Facebook page of Job. And we find that in the book of Job, chapter 29. We'll read from verse 1 to 6. But I would encourage you to read all 25 verses of Job, chapter 29. Job continued his discourse. How I long for the months gone by. For the days when God watched over me, when his lamp shone upon my head, and by his light I walked through darkness. Oh, for the days when I was in my prime, when God's intimate friendship blessed my house, when the Almighty was still with me, and my children were around me, when my path was drenched with cream and the rock poured out for me streams of olive oil. You know, when we look at the, the character of Job, we need to start with his love for his children and his wife. The Bible says in the first chapter of Job, the first six verses, it says that when his children had a party, in their different houses. Job would offer up offerings here in his own house and he would plead with God to forgive them just in case, just in case they sin against God in the process of having their parties. He loved his wife because in her absolute recalcitrance, he never said that she was a foolish woman. He said to her, why do you act like a foolish woman. He loved his children. He loved his wife. And when we look at his Facebook page, here in chapter 29 of the book of Job, we see that when he left his farms, his vast properties, when he left it and when he ventured into the city, he would get to the city gates and the Bible says the young men would step aside out of respect for Job. The old men rose from their seats 
and I can see them taking off their hats as Job went by. The Bible says that the magistrates and the chiefs, the officials, when they were in the presence of Job, they covered their mouths with their hands. The royalties, their tongues cleaved to the roofs of their mouths. And when Job smiled at them, they could scarcely believe it. People waited for Job expectantly, like rain in a dry desert. They drank up his words like a spring rain. And the Bible says, after Job spoke, no one spoke no more. Job rescued the poor, the fatherless, and the widows. He was an eye for the blind, feet for the lame, and a father for the needy. When a sick person would lay on his deathbed, before he would die, the Bible says, he would open his mouth and say, Lord, bless your servant Job. And then I would breathe out his last breath and die. Job understood that in whatever circumstances he found himself, and he says it in Job chapter 19 verse 25, he said, my Redeemer loves. Our Redeemer loves. Job understood that it is in darkness that a seed will grow and develop as we are in darkness now. And then we find in the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 15, even God's prophet said, Indeed, you are a God who hides himself. And sometimes we feel that we can't see God in our circumstances, in our situation. Job felt the same. Because in Job 23, and verse 8 to 10, Job says, But if I go to the east, he is not there. When I go to the west, I do not see him. When he is at work in the north, I don't find him there. And when he turns to the south, I cannot get a glimpse of him. But then Job concluded and he says, he says, I know that he knows the way that I take. He knows where I am. He is aware of where we are. And then Job says, when I have come through this, on the other side of this coronavirus, we, just like Job, will come out as pure gold. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Oh Lord, we pray that you will be our light in this darkness. Just like you were for your servant, Job. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.